Welcome to what I think is going to be quite an interesting video. So I've been talking about making a cow farm with these cows that we've got penned up over here. You know, more than just having a bunch of cows in a pen, but actually having a proper farm. And so I alluded to a fun idea for a cow farm that I had made in the past with some friends. And so I've already started building on it over here. And so you probably already know what it is from the title of the video, so I'll just get straight to it. This is going to be a cow cannon. Uh, it looks a little strange how I've set it up here. Uh, but I've got the design all made out and creative. So I've just started placing things down. And I'll probably need to make sure that it all looks nice and proper before I actually put cows in here. Uh, because it'd be a shame if I had to replace something with all the cows stored in it. But I'm going to jump over into my creative world and kind of show you how my idea works. So welcome to my creative world. This is where I do a lot of testing for ideas that I have, either if they're going to be in my survival world or just other ideas. It's also where I've uh, recorded my Ender Porter tutorials and stuff in the past. But what I'm here to show you right now is the cow cannon idea that I had made. And so this is my working idea and how it's actually going to turn out and look. It's a little different than the one we have in our survival world. Uh, it's got some glass so you can actually see what's going on better. Uh, and so the idea is that you have these cows up here. You can see some of my old test subjects that I got rid of just because you don't, you don't need them in creative, but the idea is that you'd have a bunch of cows like kind of stored up in here. And then you have the iron bars up here so you can actually breed them with the wheat and you have these trap doors that they can't actually fall down. Thing is though, is that if you make a baby cow, uh, by breeding them, they can actually fall through those trap doors. And so they slide on down through these water passages over into the chamber uh, right there you can see where the baby cow is and so that's where you store all the baby cows so there's a thing known as uh, entity cramming in the game uh, maybe you're not familiar with it but it makes sure that you don't have too many entities in one spot one block at a, a time so if you have uh, over 24 it is by default um, they're going to start taking damage until there's not 24 and so it ensures that there's no more than 24 mobs in just one single space uh, so we can't cram too many cows into our cow cannon, uh, but we can cram 24. And so if you want to breed 24 baby cows, you're going to have 48 cows up here to breed. Because you breed two of them and it makes it into a baby. And that way you'll never go over the mount. So that's kind of the idea of what I want to do in my survival world. But for creative, you don't really have to do that. You can just <laughs> spawn in a bunch of baby cows from the these ones. And you just spawn in too many and it'll, it'll fix itself and go back down to the normal amount. But you can see that... All the baby cows are now floating on down the water stream. They come on down this way. There is a possibility that they can stand on top of the snow. It's right here that's supposed to stop them like this guy did. But he can't actually get past it because the fence gate and the height of the snow block. So it's all fine. But I wanted to make sure he had as much space as possible so that they could actually get launched out. Um, so he'll get moved out of the way when we actually activate this thing. But you can check out down there. That's where all the baby cows are. And... If you saw in my survival world, there's a sort of lake that's out over here. And so when we launch the cows, they're going to go into the lake and then grow up to be big adults. And then you kill them while they're in the lake, the lake cows. And it'll probably fence off the lake or something, just so they stay in there. Uh, but here in our creative world, we don't have a lake. And so we're going to shoot the cow cannon and the baby cows are not going to fall peacefully into a lake. They're going to fall onto this nice, soft, hard sandstone. So, uh, without further ado, if we push this button, <laughs> they go flying. Uh, they go quite in a line, as you can tell. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's because we have these blocks on the side here, which you kind of need because of these fence gates. You have to trigger them somehow, so you have to have like blocks for the redstone to go into to trigger it. So I can't exactly get rid of them, but it is kind of fun that they go in a line. I've had it before without the fence gates, uh, but it's harder because the baby cows can maybe fall out on their way down. Uh, but if you get rid of the fence gates and you don't have these blocks on the side, they kind of do like a shotgun thing where they just kind of go in a big area instead of a, a line. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's nice and fun just uh, shooting cows out. And is there a reason why this is efficient? Nope. Is this good for rates or anything? Probably not. It's probably terrible. It's probably not all that efficient. 
and you do have to wait for them to grow up to actually kill them because you don't want to kill this breed. So you kind of always want to have some in the pool and then make sure to breed them up uh, for future when you want to kill them. And so it's not great, but it's just it's just fun. Just fun. So this is what I'm going to be doing in my survival world. Okay, so we're back now in the survival land where we don't have a fully functioning cow cannon quite yet. Uh, I did get the redstone to work, so if we come on down here, uh, well, we get, I don't have the button on me, but all the redstone's hooked up. So, we've got the redstone working. Uh, I haven't actually tested it with the baby cow yet, because I didn't want to bring the cows over yet. But I need to kind of work out the design, because I want to make sure if I need to replace any blocks, that we do it now instead of when the cows are actually in here. So, I thought maybe we make the outside first. Uh, and then we kind of do the interior from there. And so I've got some blocks on me, and I thought we'd just kind of work through what I was thinking to start with. Uh, we're going to have to kind of see, because it's quite a ways up. But if we build up, I was thinking about some orange right where the, the cannon actually shoots. So we build it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of this block and replace it with uh, something else, which is going to be unfortunate. But uh, we can probably work with that. Okay, so I was thinking about this orange going up a little bit more, maybe replacing some of that stone so it kind of is like a pillar up, or kind of going around where the cows actually come out. And then, because we need a little bit of space for some redstone on the side, it has to go out a little bit. It can't quite keep in line with that. So I was thinking about putting white pillars next to it, going all the way up here. And yeah, we'll replace this stone with orange also. What I was thinking. And then I was thinking about pillaring up on the other side also, so we get kind of uh, enclosing it also because the redstone on this side too. And so this is kind of what I was thinking the design would be for the, the front where it actually shoots out. The orange signifying that this is where the cow cannon shoots. We're gonna have to figure out what to do about uh, the obsidian there. Uh, and the block underneath it, because those have to be unmovable blocks, so I'll have to figure something out there. But I like how clean it looks otherwise. And then for on the side over here, I was thinking we put some blue to kind of complement the orange next to it. So I was thinking three wide again. Uh, just kind of keeping the theme of three wide, you know. Keep the same if we can. Okay, and I think that's looking pretty good now. So we'll probably uh, add an extra white bit on the side to probably sort of cap it off. I don't know how we're going to do this corner here because I guess we could continue out the blue this way. Would that work? It actually would work, wouldn't it? Maybe we'll do that then. If we put another three blue over here, so we have it kind of borrowing this corner and then we have the white going up this side, uh, I think that'll look pretty good. And so I'm thinking just kind of continuing this idea with using mostly just blue and white everywhere else that the orange bit kind of stands out as this is important, you know, this is where the cow cannon shoots. Um, I feel like we have to come up with a better name though for this thing. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe uh, someone can think that or I'll think something. Uh, and hopefully the modern design looks okay with this, because it's a little funky, you know? It's like, uh, gonna be a modern-looking, maybe, building thingamabob, and it just spits out cows, because why not? You know, why not? And we'll probably have a viewing platform up there, too, right? Because we're gonna want to see the cow cannon when we actually shoot it off. So I'm thinking, while well, you're up here, right? You're, you're breeding the cows up here, you're breeding them all up. And then you see through this glass kind of where all the cows are coming, you know, they're getting funneled down. And then you're looking out over here and you probably, uh, maybe a glass wall or you probably wouldn't be able to see down though. I feel like you need to be able to lean over. So maybe just an opening balcony kind of looking over and be like, push the button over here, somewhere around here and it shoots them off. And then we're also going to build a little fenced out area to make sure the cows actually stay in the water. And don't go roaming off somewhere else, because uh, that'd be bad. And then the uh, cow cannon would just slowly infest our world with cows. That's not the right idea. Uh, but yeah, I'll get to finishing it up, the, the outside, uh, 
maybe finishing the inside to getting a kind of idea and then I'll try to wrangle in 48 cows, which is not going to be fun. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it won't be too bad. I could always breed them. You can always flip up these trap doors. That's why I left them uh, being flipped upwards, so that you can always flip them back down and the cows won't actually fall down, right? If they were on the bottom side when you would flip them like this, they would fall down. But if you have them like this, then they flip up. So you could maybe flip them all up, breed some new baby ones, and then once they become adults, then flip them down or something. That might be a good idea. A brilliant idea, actually. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get to that, and I'll be back. So I'm back now, and I've got all the cows all stored up in here. It took me a little bit, well, more than a little bit even. Uh, 48 in total, so that's 12 in each of these slots. Uh, and the idea is we're just going to try to breed them all up. All the little babies will fall down, and then we'll test out the cannon. I haven't even tested it out yet, so this is actually the first time that I'm doing it. I've got enough wheat for all of them, plus four extra. So if we have enough cows, we should have exactly four at the end. Oh, I should get rid of my torch here, because I just added a torch on the side. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but the idea is that, uh, you know, you're just breeding along. Hopefully, there's enough space in between the cows to actually right-click on all of them, because it might be a little hard to right-click on them all. Okay, it looks like I got them all, so I only have four wheat left, so I'm assuming that's all of them, unless I had extra in there somehow, but... I think we're good, so... There's the last baby cow going in there. Uh, I guess it's not too efficient for actually breeding them. Maybe we need more spaces between them to actually breed them properly. Maybe I could add that, but I, I don't know. It's good enough, and we got it done. So all the cows are in there. I got some XP's in there and the torch that I accidentally placed. Uh, and hopefully they'll just go flying out. That's the idea. Got the button here, and let's see. <laughs> yep, it worked. Uh, I guess maybe we need to get rid of those grass blocks down there. Um, my gosh, this is amazing. It is weird that they're all in a line. I don't know if I like that. I would rather go out in all directions, but it's fine. Uh, so it seems like they went out almost up to this, like, play down here. We probably want to put a fence out even a little bit further just in case. But we'll need to, like, fence off this whole area. And then the cows will grow up in here, and then we'll kill them. That's the idea. And that's how the cow farm will work. Uh, I guess I'll need to finish up the building then, now that we've got it all working. And once I got that done, I guess that's it for it. It's a nice little quick project, you know, to get done. I mean, getting all the cows in there was a little difficult, but besides that, it's not too difficult at all. There's barely any redstone. It's a simple, just kind of building design, yeah. And it's fun. So I was just uh, finishing up my little project here, putting up some fences, starting this on the ceiling and everything, and I noticed there's actually some cows still in here. So I guess not all of them got shut out, so... Push it again, some of them come out, but not all of them. It is strange, isn't it? I wonder why that is. I worked in the creative world. I guess you have to push it multiple times, and then they all get out. Uh, but... I guess that's fine. It's just a little strange. So, I've got the inside done now. Uh, I had just been finishing up just the roof, and I was thinking about what to do with this side. And I thought, hmm, uh, you know, we need wheat for these cows, and so what's a good way to maybe, uh, get wheat? And I decided to make these little mini farms. Uh, so if we grab some seeds, I can actually show you how this works. Uh, this one doesn't have any bone meal in it. This one has a little bit so far. Uh, but if you place it... Wait. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. you got to turn it on. With these little lovers on the side. And it makes a bunch of noise. And you place it on the seeds, and it grows it. And you just hold down right-click, and it continues growing. And that's pretty cool. And then you can turn it off again. And yeah, it works pretty great. So I hadn't made midi farms before in the past, so I was kind of unsure about how to actually approach this one. So I went into creative, tried some things out. It took me a little while to get something that actually worked properly. <laughs> uh, and it did what I wanted it to. And then once I got that, it was uh, another task to actually fit into this tiny area because 
uh, if we fly around, you'll see that we don't exactly have much room for where it was supposed to be. And so up here at the top is actually where a lot of the redstone is. You can see that uh, this chest right uh, here is for where you put the bone meal in. They get split between these two. They're identical on each side. I thought I'd just make one on each side just so that it was symmetrical, not because we needed two. You only really need one. Uh, but yeah, the bone meal goes there. It gets divvied up into these dispensers. That's why you can see these hoppers from the, uh, the stairs here, which maybe we'll try to cover up with a banner or something, but uh, I don't know. And then if we come up here to the top, you can see that uh, here's where, well, the double chest is in there. It goes out into this double chest to actually get split up. This is like the splitter double chest to go between the two. Um, and then if we look at like over here on this side where the lever is underneath this block, it activates this to make sure that the item in here is stuck. And then when it's unstuck, it just goes back and forth and makes a clock that way. And the reason why we have a wooden shovel is because it'll make a too long pulse uh, when it goes through this, which will activate uh, this guy here, which will go down and activate the uh, dispensers below these blocks. So the dispensers are under here, and then it also activates this observer, and there's two observers underneath it for a little bit of delay for when the actual piston gets pushed. So first it activates the dispensers, then it activates the, the piston. And yeah, getting the timing was the, the hardest part, but... Once I figured that out, like, you know, figuring out that I needed two observers of delay and figuring out that a hopper clock just going back and forth quickly is the right call. Uh, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. And it also didn't go over our, like, limit on the sides. You know, we didn't have to bulge out or anything, which is pretty cool. And it also didn't go over our limit for the height because the roof was already kind of high. So now we just need to make the roof of the building instead of the roof of the interior. Uh, which, yeah, that's just a simple thing to finish with, and then I think we'll be done with this whole project. Okay, so now I have the roof done. Um, it's pretty simple how I finished it. I just put, uh, the andesite on top, kind of like we did with some of the other buildings that we have, um, and just put some quartz just to stop some spawning, and it's pretty plain, but it's not that big of a roof, so I think it looks fine overall. And, yeah, I don't think it matters too much. Um, what we still need to get done, which I'm not going to finish in today's episode, is I have to finish the path up here. Um, this was the path that I just made for the cows to actually lead them into here. I don't know if I want to keep it. It is kind of nice. Uh, but we would definitely have to finish it up if we did. Or we just make something else. But, you know, this is the entrance, so maybe it would work. And then also, I want to finish up the, like, up and down water streams. That we have over here so i don't know which one will be up or down but we need to create a pathway into our underground tunnel that's kind of further in that direction so that'll take a little bit to actually dig out and then uh make it work over here so that's for another time also uh but i think we're done now and so we've completed the building everything works and the only thing left to do is just to have some fun we already got cows in there and Kablam! It's pretty amazing. I just wish they all kind of went at once, but you know, that's fine. Well, look at that. I don't think any of them went out that time. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on there. Maybe I'll have to look into that to figure out exactly what I did. Because in my creative world, it was working all the time. And now it's not working all the time. But, I don't know. It's still fun. And it still works most of the time. Which, this thing was never meant to be efficient, so, you know, it's just meant to do that, apparently. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Now we got some of them out there. Now there's only one guy in there. Yeah, now it works. Yeah, sure. Anyways, uh, I hope you have a good day and continue to have a good day. Bye-bye.